hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here i welcome you thank you so much for stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much for keep on coming back to watch my videos and i truly appreciate you all whether you're new or if you've been here for a while or you're just watching thank you so much for your time it really do mean a lot to me and i just want to tell you that i appreciate you all so guys here um we got a bed um for the kids bedroom i took this video long ago just when we just um, got into this house but because i was not feeling well i couldn't edit i couldn't upload so here this is the bed that you see here so the story about this bed is that there's a lady that we know hadi and i um, she works for some indian lady and that indian lady had this bed i must say it's still in good condition uh, it's it's a second hand bed but honestly it's still in a good very very good condition just that it just needs to be deep cleaned so um what happened here is, is that the indian lady gave it to the woman that is working for her so that woman had to sell this bed because she lives in a one room and she already has a bed there and that in that room there is no space so she just, she just decided that she has to sell this bed because honestly there was no space so she she was like i want someone to buy this bed like just when she got back from work she was already looking for a buy before um it was already at night so luckily um we met her and we were not looking for a bed for now but because um where we used to stay we had only one bedroom and there were there were two beds in there and there was no space so i had to sell the small bed it was a double bed so i had to sell it so now when we got here we had an extra bedroom and we didn't have a bed for the kids so even though we were not like looking for the bed like right at that moment we just saw um the, this lady she was selling the bed and we thought why not because eventually we were going to buy the bed for the kids bedroom so this is the bed um here i was trying to clean it i don't know if the late that um indian woman and maybe she has dogs or cats i don't know so we were trying to clean that the feather duster did not work the brush did not work so i still need to deep clean that bed please do share some tips on how you clean your beds on the comment section below um i would truly appreciate it because i'm also learning from you guys so i don't know if you can hear me well because i also have some um what is this what is this when your chest is painful and all of that that is what i'm fa currently facing right now so yeah they, i just wanted to share the story behind this bed it's still in a good i love people who sell second hand stuff that are still in good condition because honestly speaking you cannot um sell something that needs to be maybe thrown away or something that you know that you would not buy it yourself if you sell something it must be in a good condition so that the next person when they decide to buy that um they will not come back later and then complain so i was happy with the bed the kids were happy i just need to deep clean it ever since it got here i i did not get a chance to do that because as i was saying i was not feeling well but now i'm okay so yeah so here it was the next morning um you know having toddlers at home what happened here when i woke up early in the morning like the house was in water like there was water everywhere and i just didn't understand what was happening i just kept it because it was not even raining so i i i was asking myself what happened and then when i got up from my bedroom i could hear that the tape was open so luanda my three-year-old son he was in the bathroom the night before but because we have this thing that you know in south africa there's load shedding and also there's this problem that we run out of water every day so by the time he got there 
I think he opened, actually he did open the taps from the basin, from the bathtub. He opened those um, taps and because there was no water, we didn't know. But luckily, not really, but luckily um, around 2 a.m., when I woke up, I was just not feeling well that day. So I woke up at 2. I kept I kept on going to the bathroom. And some I don't know why. I just wanted to check if the taps in the basin were closed. And they were not. They were also open. So I closed the tap. <laughs> I closed the taps on the basin. I checked from the kitchen. But I don't know why. Uh, I didn't go to the bathtub because all those tips from the from uh, from the bathroom they were open. So I did close the tips around two a.m. I did close the tips on the basin. I did go and check on the kitchen at the kitchen um, on the kitchen sink. Those were fine because I'm the one who was using them the night before because I was washing the dishes. So when I woke up around six, there was water everywhere. And because I think the water came back, I think around 4, because I woke up around 2 a.m. And around half past 3 to 4, that's when I went back to sleep. And I think um, the water came back by that time. So imagine from time until 6 a.m. There was water everywhere. I opened the door, the front door. When I went out, the water was also um, going outside. There was water everywhere. So it was a lot it was a lot honestly it was a lot of work my head wasn't just not working you know you wake up at six to prepare the kids for um for school and then you see this so luckily because my young sister is here she helped me to prepare the kids for the, for the school and then happy was helping me to um clean the water take the water out and all of that as you see in this video so having toddlers you just have to check on everything you just have to check since that day before i go to bed at night i always make sure that i go to the bathroom i check if the tapes are closed everything like you cannot rest when you have kids at home i don't know if it's boys or ma uh, girl moms please do let me know how um are your children especially toddlers <laughs> I have one girl here and she's making noise as well and many people do believe that when she grows up when she's a to toddler uh, when she becomes a toddler they say she's going to be naughty more than the boys because apparently um, if you're an only girl between boys then you are you are worse than the boys so I don't actually believe that but I'm just concerned because honestly speaking I don't have the energy to deal with another toddler <laughs> honestly speaking I really don't have um, the energy to deal with another toddler so I don't know guys is it true have you heard of um, that very same thing because many people are always like oh you have two boys and a girl and then if and then some people don't even know maybe I'm just um, talking to someone then they ask me is this your only child the minute i tell them that no this is my third child and they have two boys and then many people will be like yo she's going to be naughty more than the boys because um she comes after the boys i don't know guys please do let me know do you know that do you believe that or maybe if you had kids like me you had the boys first and then the young one was a girl did you experience the same thing or is it just something that people believe but it's not true because honestly i really don't have i don't know i sound like i'm working maybe i'm not working guys i'm at home it's raining outside but sikwanogutla is on my back and she's feeling sleepy so i'm trying to put her to sleep so if i sound like i'm working please excuse that so yeah guys and please do let me know do, is, do, you, do you also believe that did you experience that with your young girls or maybe you have something that you know that you believe please do help me uh, do let me know on the comment section and also please do let me know how do you deal with naughty toddlers please do let me know because yo, 
after having two of them i still don't know how to deal with them i i have got to a place whereby i just let them be you know if they are doing something i just look at them and just let them be as long as it's not dangerous for um, for them i just let them be so guys i'll catch you on my next video please do like this video please do share and consider subscribing if you're not yet subscribed because my little girl is getting fussy over here so thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you on my next one bye